Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is installation day. I've got the exhaust laid out here on the table. I've got the car in the garage, as you saw. I was sweeping up earlier. That was from when we did all the painting. There was a lot of dust and everything laying on the ground from you know the paint spray and everything else. And just it's been a week since I swept it. So swept out the garage because I'll be crawling underneath this car. And the last thing I want is carrying out a whole bunch of paint. I do have some you know older clothes little dirty already and stained that's perfect for working on the car and that's exactly why i have them you know i got grease stains on my pants and everything so it's they're just work clothes and i keep them just for this purpose so let's get to it okay everyone so you can see we got the clamps there the mufflers are all nice and painted ready to go we also have our additional unexpected part the x pipe also cleaned up painted and ready to go and there we go the car is in the garage waiting to be done it's a little later in the day so I hope we get it all done today you can see it's getting closer and closer to the end of the day one thing I do want to highlight is we are going to take the entire exhaust off first then do our cutting our fitting and then put everything else back together on the car the reason we're taking it off, it is all one piece. It's all welded up until it gets to where the, man, where the cats come out. That's where the pipe was clamped on. The rest of it was all welded solid. Now when we had the, the X pipe put in at the muffler shop, again, we welded the pieces together, but we kept the clamps where they were. So we're gonna take this whole thing off. The great thing is that they're just hangers everywhere. So we just gotta slide them off the hangers and this whole thing will drop out, we'll slide it out, we'll cut where we need to, and then we'll start putting things back together. And this time I know it's for real, oh, the feelings that I feel. We got our hands tied up, don't know where this will go. It's a lonely ride and it's taking too long. We're gonna need four jack stands and at least one jack. We might need to use two jacks and jack one side and the other up on the front and then go ahead and do the same on the back. And the reason we're doing that is we're putting up on four jacks so we wanna make sure we have rolling jack stands that'll slide out as we're lifting up. If you use a bottle jack and you start lifting up, the car pushes forward or pulls back and then it can roll off of the jack stands that it's already on and all collapses and then you've got big trouble. So we've also got a pair of wheel chocks down there and that will help us keep the wheels from rolling as we're jacking up one end of the car. And then we'll come back and we'll jack up the back part of the car and that's because it's a little less moving and we've also got the gears you know, and the emergency brake are on the back. So we wanna make sure we do the front first and then do the back so the front's locked in place anyway. It's a little safer this way. Plus the car's in the back, facing backwards like this so we can get to it. It's just going to be easier to do the front first and best way to do it. All right guys, so I got the jack under each side, brought it up evenly, and then I used my big jack and got right in the center of the subframe. Supported it all. As you can see, Right up there in the middle, there's the cross beam going across. So I put the jack there, and then I put jacks up here on the subframe and on the other side, lifted it up evenly, and now we have it firmly set on the subframe on jack stand on each side there. That's the front. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna do the back, set it up on two firm points on jack stands. And then the whole car will be about 
say about 12 to 15 inches off the ground. Okay everyone, so you can see up in here, I've used the subframe where the A-arm is mounted to as my stand point. And I use the A-arms, because it has that huge surface on the bottom, as my lifting point. Now that I've had them lifted up and set on the jack stands, I let them down, I put the jacks back in place just a little further out on the A-arm, and I put some pressure on them so the wheels are lifted slightly. If any of this part here, these stands come out, the car settles, it'll settle on these jack stands, and I won't get crushed. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't. But you can see underneath, there's the original pipe here, and there's where Jesse spliced in with an X pipe, and some extensions up to where the original clamps are. And then going back, you can probably see back in there, those are where the mufflers used to be and we took those out and we did uh, just a little step over and a straight four inch by 12 inch long tip just absolutely loud as hell i love it but it's time to update and we're gonna put jason's x pipe they sent in here and we'll cut off right about there and put in the uh, axle backs. So let's get this whole thing dropped down so that we can start working on it. Hey everybody, so far so good, I'm still alive. Glasses are not only so I can see better, for protection. If I didn't have to wear glasses, I'd be wearing safety glasses. They're just the best thing to use. Uh, protect your eyes, especially when you're underneath, looking up underneath the car. And even if it's a brand new car, shavings, dirt, anything can fall down and get in your eyes and that will end your bad day very badly. Using simple hand tools here, just a quarter inch socket. This is the, this is just a 3 8 inch socket with a standard extension. 13 millimeters takes the bolts off in the very back and uh, by the differential. These are the rear brackets, I've already taken them off and the brackets by the differential. I just loosened the bolts. I'm gonna take them off completely as the last step. The next step is to take off the clamps. Half inch drive, short extension, and a 15 millimeter socket. This is just a cheap impact socket. Buy a set for like 10 or $15 at a discount hardware store. I'm not gonna put a lot of torque on it. You can use air tools if you want. I'm showing you how to do it with hand tools because I want you to show just how easy this job is and how you can save yourself some money by doing it yourself. So let's get under there and get those clamps out. Alright guys, here's the clamps that we're going to take off. So we're just going to get under here, start cranking these off. You can see, with a right size ratchet, comes loose pretty quick and easy and then you can just spin it get it really loose I say take the nuts all the way down to the edge of the bolts got to turn it by hand even um, if yours is cars a little older and rusty 
and they're harder to turn. Feel free to pre-soak them with some penetrating oil. I use a catalyst when I have rusty bolts. The catalyst will actually dissolve and break into the pores of the rust, whereas like something like a fish oil or a standard lubricant would just kind of sit on the surface and take forever to seep in. So pre-soak them a little early and use some uh, catalyst to really get in there. Uh, or you could use penetrating oil if you just want to. Luckily my car is only a few months old so, and I live in Arizona so everything looks relatively new. guys per the legato instructions it says where to cut the pipes it says to measure back two and a half inches so I'm gonna measure back two and a half inches I'm gonna tape off the line there and then I'm gonna lay the new mufflers in place just kind of hold them there so they don't get scratched up and then we're gonna make sure that that when I cut that line that's where it's lining up so let's give that a shot and see what it looks like all right everybody my glasses on. I've got hearing protection because I'm getting ready to cut the pipes. I've got it marked off there. I did check it. It is the right line. And thank goodness Ford pre-measured this size for me. Their label was right in the right spot, so I didn't even have to tape off on this side here. Um, so I'm going to get ahead and get cutting, and then we're going to get these pipes fit up to the X pipe, and then we'll start throwing it in piece by piece and get it done as the sun is slowly fleeting. So we need to get moving. Legatos are put in. I'm actually going to take it to a muffler shop and have them weld the pipes. I uh, like the clamps after putting them back on and having the pipes expanded so I can slip everything together. I'm not confident in their holding ability. I can take it to a muffler shop, probably get somebody to throw some welds on it, and everything will be nice and sturdy from the X pipe back. So let's give it a shot. really loud still. I hope you guys can hear me over that. Wow. It is a lot quieter inside the car. So uh, we're gonna get this thing done off of jack stands. Alright everybody, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe below if you are not already subscribed. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I do post new videos. I don't post daily, so if you don't want mine to get lost amongst the other people who do barrage you every day with a new video, then make sure you hit that bell icon. That'll let you know when I've got a new one up. Have a great day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And we will see you all on the sunny side.